This is a climate model simulation that shows how human factors have contributed to a rise in global surface temperatures. This part of the graphic shows how natural drivers only, like solar and volcanic activity, contribute to the rise in temperatures. And this is what happens when natural and human drivers are combined. If anybody still had any doubts, yes, climate change is caused by humans. There is a direct link between this summer's extreme weather and a warming world. And yes, floods and wildfires will get worse unless we take drastic action to rapidly curb emissions. This is Bob Watson, a leading environmental scientist and a previous chairman of the IPCC. He says, the climate is changing, and there is no question this is due to human activity. Change in global surface temperature has been steady for a long time. Here's how it looks now. If the planet warms much more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, a scenario all but certain at the current pace of emissions, such change could trigger the inexorable collapse of the Greenland ice sheet and more than six feet of sea level rise that could swamp coastal communities. Coral reefs would virtually disappear. Heat waves that are already deadly will become as much as five degrees Fahrenheit hotter. Parts of the Earth that currently slow the pace of warming, such as the ocean absorbing excess heat and clouds reflecting sunlight back into space, will become less able to help us. This is Lake Oroville in 2019, the second largest reservoir in California. And this is just two years later. Not only does Lake Oroville store water, it helps control flooding elsewhere in the region. More worryingly, the reservoir, when full, provided enough water for an estimated 7 million households, as well as providing power for hydroelectric facilities and irrigation for agricultural land. The drought intensity in the United States is getting worse every year, from abnormally dry to extreme and even exceptional. The evidence for humanity's influence on the climate system, once a fiercely debated topic, is now overwhelming, the IPCC report states. What began as a scientific hypothesis has become established fact. Storms such as Houston's Hurricane Harvey in 2017 and tropical cyclone Edai, which killed hundreds of people in Mozambique two years later, bore the unmistakable fingerprints of human-caused warming. The additional heat in the oceans provides more energy for storms, the report says, making intense Category 4 and 5 hurricanes more likely. Warmer air holds more moisture, increasing the amount of rain that falls during these events. Extreme heat has become more frequent and more intense across parts of the world since 1950. The IPCC asserts with high confidence that human-caused climate change is the main driver and that without human influence, some of the extreme highs would be extremely unlikely. As global temperatures get high, extreme weather will get worse. Humans have already heated the planet by roughly 1.1 degrees Celsius, or 2 degrees Fahrenheit, since the 19th century, largely by burning coal, oil, and gas for energy. And the consequences can be felt across the globe. This summer alone, blistering heat waves have killed hundreds of people in the United States and Canada. Floods have devastated Germany and China, and wildfires have raged out of control in Siberia, Turkey, and Greece. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has published its first update on the physical science of climate change since 2013. The report sounds the alarm about the possibility of irreversible changes to the climate, often called tipping points. For example, Forests could start to die as temperatures rise, becoming less able to absorb carbon dioxide, leading to further warming. Or Antarctic ice sheets could become destabilized, leading to rapid sea level rise. Global surface temperatures has increased faster since 1950 than in any other 50-year period over at least the last 2,000 years. For example, Temperatures during the most recent decade, 2011 to 2020, exceed those of the most recent multi-century warm period, around 6,500 years ago, the report indicates. Although the IPCC has been warning about the perils of global warming for three decades, governments have yet to take the kind of action necessary to transition to clean energy sources and halt greenhouse gas emissions. 
But perhaps things are about to change, if only because people all over the world are starting to see the impacts of climate change around them. Climate change is happening, and people actually feel it. The report just provides scientific validation to the general public that yes, what you feel is actually true. Even if nations started sharply cutting emissions today, total global warming is likely to rise around 1.5 degrees Celsius within the next two decades, a hotter future that is now essentially locked in. What can we do about it? While it is easy to slip into climate despair, there are steps to be taken that, while insufficient to solve the problems posed by climate change, attempt to keep the worst consequences at bay. Eat less meat. A switch to a more balanced plant-based diet, researchers found, could reduce global carbon emissions by up to 8 billion metric tons per year. Reduce food waste. Dramatically cutting down on that waste could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by an estimated 6 to 8 percent. In the United States alone, that wasted food generates the equivalent of 32.6 million cars worth of greenhouse gas emissions. Plant a lot of trees. Because trees help remove excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis, it is imperative that people reverse deforestation in places like the Amazon and plant more trees.